everybody. It's Loretta. I've got a big cup of coffee here, and I'm about to make a video. Y'all don't judge, don't judge me from a big cup of coffee. I'm about to make a video that is different from any kind of video I've ever made before, y'all. Um, and I'm trying to turn a negative into a positive. That's what this is. So you see a nice gift away that is sitting in front of you. I had to give you guys something to look at while I talk to y'all. So I just decided to put that gift away up there so that y'all have something to look forward to. So I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize ahead of time because I'm sure this video is gonna be fairly long and I'm sure I'm gonna ramble. I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna try to be short, sweet, and to the point. But it's I'm probably gonna ramble. So I'm really sad to tell y'all, as the title in the video says, and you probably guessed, I, along with a pretty significant group of crafters, have been ripped off. There is no other way to say it. So the purpose of this video is to let you know how this happened to all of us and to try to give you every tip I can think of to make sure this doesn't happen to you too. So, I... Uh, Really want to try to turn this into something positive. So that is the whole reason for the giveaway. So the first thing that we're going to do in this video is handle the business. Talk about tips on how you can make sure this doesn't happen to you. And then we're going to do the giveaway after that. So first of all, I want to say also that the opinions that I'm saying in this video are my own. I don't represent any other person or company. I don't want to give anybody the wrong idea. I don't represent anybody but myself and my own opinions here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the person who did this to us is named Miranda. And she did it to a lot of people in our crafty community. And... She did it over a period of several years, and she's pretty well known in the crafty community. I mean, she's designed for big name companies like Graphic 45 and Prima, and she's taught classes. And, you know, they featured her artwork at CHA, C-H-A, big crafting. I mean, she's pretty big in the crafting community. I I'm going to leave her information below, not because I mean to embarrass her or put a bad light on her or these companies. Y'all, look, I am doing this for one reason, and that is to make sure she does not do this to anyone else, okay? I, I'm not doing it for any other reason, and I'm going to go into a little bit of a background so that you can get a handle on why I decided to do this video, okay? This all started when I asked a simple question on my Facebook page that read in part, had anyone else recently bought a grab box from Miranda? And y'all, the results were astounding. Okay, I was not expecting it at all. It turns out that another designer apparently knew of some other people who were who were potential potential victims. And so she helped make the thread even more well known. And when she did, people from everywhere came forward. Y'all, this is one of the biggest threads I've ever seen on Facebook. Personally, I mean, I'm sure there's bigger threads out there, but I'm saying <laughs> some people bought one box. Some people bought two boxes. Some people bought supposed leftover class kits. Some people bought actual art projects that she actually created for Prima and Graphic 45. Like, you know, like the projects I was telling you that have been featured on, you know, Prima packaging and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, some of these ladies are international too, y'all. Not even from the United States. Can you imagine that? Like buying two boxes and being international shipping and then not getting a thing. Um, y'all, I started to get sick at heart. At heart. I mean, because it is so obvious to me. I mean, Miranda has run this scam on Facebook, on her personal Facebook page, y'all, in 2017, possibly. In 2018, for sure. In 2019. 
and every time has ripped off several women. This last time, I know she ripped off at least 20 people. Maybe more. Every day, people are coming forward. We've had people suggest that we contact the postmaster and, 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 and other means of law enforcement, y'all. I mean, think of it. 20 people times 50 bucks a pop is a thousand dollars. I mean, that's pretty lucrative, I'd say. And you know what? Now, after all this has come to light, Miranda has also taken steps to unfriend and even block people on Facebook who she ripped off, and including me, including myself. Then she posted on Facebook yesterday asking people to leave a comment, or day before yesterday, I'm sorry, asking them to leave a comment if they ever received a box from her. And then she gleefully answered people who she had not blocked yet, saying she would double what she was supposed to send them out. In other words, if they bought one box, she would send two boxes. If they bought two boxes, she would send them four. And I'm thinking to myself, geez. I mean, how much product does this chick have anyhow? I mean, a hurricane supposedly at her house. And I mean, she's had de-stash sales after de-stash sales after de-stash sales on her Facebook page. So, I mean, how much stuff does she really have? But look, you know what? On that Facebook thread, she got a surprise because some of the crafty people she had not blocked yet are friends with some of us crafty people who she has blocked. So, some of the crafty people she had not blocked yet started tagging us in the comments of that thread. Ha! Huh. And she didn't like that at all. So she took that down. Now, apparently, she's even lashed out at people who have called her out for ripping them off. So, I mean, I hope not, but it seems to me like she hopes to recruit another group of victims to run this scam on later. I mean, that if she's blocked everybody that she's run the scam on. So, it seems to me like maybe she's trying to set up to do it again. I mean, I hope not, but I'm here to warn people. I mean, I mean what a shame, you know, because I want to say, honestly, I regard Miranda as one of the premier designers. I mean, one of the most talented crafters that I've ever seen, really. I mean, she is, she is right on up there. She honestly has a gift. I mean, she is so talented. So, I mean, in my mind, Prima, Graphic 45, I mean, every company that's ever worked with Miranda are justified in, in having done so. I mean, nobody's to blame for Miranda's actions but her. I mean, no, we, including us, we had no idea she was like this. The companies had no idea that she was like this. Us crafters had no idea she was like this. I mean, we had a super hard time believing it much less saying that she did this. A lot of us still don't want to believe this. A lot of us still have a hard time believing this. We are beyond hurt. We are beyond shocked. I mean, y'all, this is a tough situation. I mean, because our crafting community is, is really tight, you know? So, this is tough. But I have to say that for myself, I have proof she ripped me off. I mean, I have screen grabs. I have screenshots of her selling the stuff. I have screenshots of people asking where their stuff is. I have my receipt from PayPal. I've talked with other people who've also been ripped off, who also have screenshots, who also have receipts, who also have private messages. So, this is not just me saying this, okay? A lot of crafters have the same proof. So, if you ever decide to buy anything from Miranda, now you know. You know, you, you're probably not going to get anything. None of us did. You know, so now you know who not to buy from. So I'm going to just go ahead right now and go into other tips in case you decide you want to buy a D-stash or grab box from other people. And I still buy them, okay? So, because you can get some really good deals. There's some other designers, and I'm not going to name any of them, but that I have bought crab boxes from that I have had great luck with, that I got great boxes from. Hang on, let me take a sip of my coffee. You know, so this isn't to discourage you from buying a grab box. You, know, you can get some really good deals. But the first tip is, don't ever use PayPal, friends, and family. Use PayPal, 
but don't ever use PayPal friends and family, ever. Even if you think you know the person, even if you've been friends on social media for a long time, even if they design for a major company, even if you've met them in person, do not buy except through regular PayPal because if you do, you don't have any recourse. You know, use a major credit or debit card, which you pretty much have to do on PayPal. Um, pay from an invoice. It's super, super easy to issue an invoice. I know because even I can do it. <laughs> and I'm pretty slow when it comes to technology. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. The next thing is, and this can be difficult as well, y'all. After 10 days or so, 14 days at the very most, if you don't have a trackable tag, uh, blah, 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 blah. If you don't have a trackable tracking number, trackable tracking number, <laughs> a number that you can track your package with, y'all, if you don't have that, you need to start taking action to get your money back. No matter what the circumstances are, no matter if the seller's saying, oh, I've been sick. Or I'm real sorry I couldn't get to the post office. My car broke down. Or I had to go out of town at the last minute. Or a hurricane hit my house. Or whatever it is. It only takes a minute to issue a PayPal refund. Literally. It's really super easy. And really super fast. Okay. So last of all, I really want y'all to take heart. I mean, you know, this is a unbelievable community of creative people. And 99.9% .9 of us are good. And believe it or not, this situation has proven it. The, I mean, the friendship and camaraderie on Facebook, on this thread, has been unbelievable since this happened. I've made a bunch of friends, y'all. I mean, people have been beyond kind. Beyond kind. And I'm here to prove it. Because, you know, this video includes not one, but two special giftaways. And not only that, not only that, we have had five other crafters as of the date of this video who have also agreed to do giveaways for everyone who has been ripped off by Miranda. So, I have one giveaway, y'all, that is for anyone who watched this video. Anyone at all. Doesn't matter if you're sub to me or not. If you made it through this video and you want in on this giveaway, the one that's right in front of you that I'm about to show you, that's open to everybody. After that, I have a video a, a giveaway that I'm going to video that is just for victims of Miranda. Because I feel like it's important that we give back to our ladies that's done been ripped off. And then we have five other boxes, y'all. So what we're going to do... I, we're going to leave this. I'm going to show all this. So, you know, after I get done talking, if y'all want to hang on and look at what you might win, you can. But if you're ready to be done with this video, I totally understand because it's pretty long. So, what we're going to do is we're going to leave this open until May the 31st, which is Friday at midnight. Then I, along with the other people, if that's what they want to do, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll do that, will go ahead and draw on June the 1st, and y'all can look for a video sometime around June the 1st. I am a hairdresser, so I don't work on Monday, so it may very well go up on that Monday. So y'all, good luck. Y'all have a, a great day if you're off, if you're done with this video. Otherwise, stay tuned because we're fixing to go through all these goodies. Another sip of my coffee. Mmm, love some coffee. Okay, y'all, let's go through these goodies, all right? I'm going to start out with the flowers. Oh, look. Here's a pack of Prima. Y'all, I don't know if you remember this. This is from Romance Novel, I think, a, a long time ago. Anyway, so there's some Prima flowers, and then here's some Meyer Road flowers. Gray is really in right now. So, I threw some gray flowers in, and I love these with the bling in the center. I just think those are so elegant and pretty. Some Prima flowers. Some more Prima flowers. Some roses. And some wild orchid grass. I love these, y'all, because they're ivory, and you can color them or color the edges of them or glitter them. Or, 
Ooh, just all kinds of stuff. You can take the center out of them, put bling in. All kinds of stuff. Anyway. Okay, so there's the flowers. And then we have this Texture Fades by Tim Holtz. And this really pretty stencil and manila tags with the roses or flowers, whatever. And then we have, I'm just going to show you this because look, y'all. All this really pretty ribbon. I'm going to use this to package this up real pretty for whoever the winner is. So, you'll get this ribbon too. But it's going to be decorative and tied around things to make it real pretty. So, you'll get these chain tassels. You will get these brads. You'll get these vintage trinkets by Prima. These numbers by Tim Holtz. I thought these were so pretty. Embellishments. And this uh, ruler binding for a mini book. These gold filigree die cuts. These Tim Holtz word bands. Oops, that's upside down. There you go. I love this. I think this would be so pretty on the front of a mini album. It's all that hanging a door by Prima. Some metal paper clips in a key shape. I thought those were adorable. I tried to pick stuff out, y'all, that I thought y'all would love. Love! Speaking of, mixed media from Prima. Again, mixed media ATC cards from Prima. Four rolls of Tim Holtz washi tape. Some Heidi Swap uh, foil flakes in silver and gold. So I thought those were all very nice goodies. So let me put these up real quick so we can move on. This junk pack from Seven Gypsies. This bare naked binder, which is a six by six. These are so fun to do, y'all. Um, Bow Bunny. A Tim Holtz five and three quarter by ten and three quarter configurations box. These are also really fun to do. Okay. And now to the papers, y'all. I don't have any really super new, 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 new paper. I apologize. I picked some of the newest paper that I do have. And I'll just flip through this real quick. Y'all have seen this. It's very pretty. It's blush glam. It's foiled. I think it's still very relevant. They still sell it at my Michaels, so... Alrighty, and then there is this, which is Prima Midnight Garden. This is a kit that I worked from. I have this kit and one other kit that's in the other package that I'm giving away. This is Midnight Garden. It is 11 12 by 12 papers that are foiled. It's 14 A4 papers, 33 by 4 journal cards, 24 4 by 6 journal cards, a full pack of ephemera, Two partial packs of flowers, which you can see there's a lot left. Really cute. And a partial pack of the chipboard. So, and that's Prima. All right, y'all. So, that's it for the first package. And that is the one that anyone at all is allowed to enter. Anyone at all. Go ahead and enter. And, y'all, I'm going to scoot this next package over. And I'm going to go ahead and start with this little package as well. Let me go ahead and get this situated and ready to go, y'all. Pardon me, I'm sorry. Just bear with me one sec. If you've, bear, if you've been with me this long, you can stick with me just a little bit longer, I feel like. I hope. I hope so. All right, y'all. Here we go. You're going to get 
a package of the Wild Orchid Craft Flowers like the other ones that I just showed you. Those are some of my favorite. This is the package for the person that got ripped off by Miranda. So this really has some of my favorites. Like this, these Hello Pastel flowers that were so super popular at one time. These zipper flowers by Prima. Another pack of springy flowers by Prima. A nice, beautiful flower by Prima in lavender, and another one in peach. And you'll see some of these colors match some of these other things that um, I have also picked out for this prize winner. Then we have a lovely silver die cut. And we also have some Michaels embellishments and some Prima embellishments and some more Michael's embellishments. I thought those were adorable with the bird and the key and the crown. The crown kind of reminds me of Kathy Orda, y'all. <laughs> anyway, then you'll also get this spare part parts knob, which I thought would be super cute on a box. You will also get these Recollections wooden numbers, these Prima Shabby Chic Treasures, my hands are a little bit full now, so I'll put these away. You will get this Prima Lyric Frames. You will get this really super cute Tim Holtz Manila Stencil. These Tim Holtz Label Pulls. These Tim Holtz Word Bands. These Tim Holtz clipboard clips. You will also get the wooden ATC cards. Okay. And then y'all are so lucky because I got this in a giveaway, but I already had one. So y'all are so lucky. This is a great die, y'all. So yeah, that's going to go in there with it too. And then this Canvas Corp Sampler Pack. Okay. And then, y'all, I had challenged myself to try to make a mini album out of just this. I was going to pick some embellishments, but just this paper. It's so cute, y'all. Look at the colors. So cute. I'll just go ahead and thumb through this one, too. So I decided, you know what? I'll just throw that in. It's brand new. It's from Michaels, so I will throw that in. Here's another bare naked 6x6 six six binder. This one, the other one had been taken out of the packaging because the packaging ripped. But, I mean, it's brand new. It hasn't been used. And this one, I just put this one in because it's wrapped and hasn't been opened. And there's some Tim Holtz washi. And like the other package, I've got this really pretty ribbon. I'm going to make it really pretty for y'all when I get ready to ship this. Or as pretty as I can. This is some Artsy Liquid Watercolors. And then this, y'all, is the other Prima kit that I was telling y'all about that I worked with. There's not as much of this kit left over in 12x12 12 12 papers, but there is an entire 6x6 six six pad except for, I think, one sheet, okay? Then there's also some 4x6 cards. There's a whole bunch of 4x6 cards. There's a bunch of embellishments that I made like this. Really cute, okay, that match the collection, okay? And then there is also a partial sticker package. And then there are actual Prima flowers that match the collection. But then I also pulled some flowers and some bling and some different stuff. So I thought that'd make a cute little mini album. I mean, you could potentially even do this cute little 6x6 six six with it. I think that would be adorable. So there's that. Then, y'all, these are super fun to do. I, In fact, I think I have a from beginning to end video on doing one of these folios. They're super fun, so I decided to throw that in there, Tim Holtz folio. And then last of all, this is the newest collection, the last collection that I bought from a cherry on top. It is Bow Bunny Harmony, and I just thought it was super cute and springy. And it has the Noteworthy, which 
you can kind of see on the back of there. It's got a really cute banner, a lot of really cute tags. Very, very cute. Lots of elements in this collection that can be fussy cut and popped up. There's the brads, which I always love, the Bow Bunny brads. Here is the uh, layered chipboard. And then these are the stick stickers. That's the reason why I did not get the chipboard is because I will take these stickers and put them on chipboard and cut them out and use them that way. Or I also have them flat if I have some inserts or so forth that are going in my books that I don't want to have a lot of dimension. And then this is the whole 12 by 12 paper pad. And I'll just kind of flip through it. Very springy and pretty. And you can really see the patterns on the front there. So, that is my gift, gift aways. I hope y'all will enter. I hope y'all will leave me a comment in case I forgot anything because I am super forgetful these days. And um, look for the next video. It should be out right around June the 1st. It might be the 2nd or 3rd because, as I said, I'm off on Mondays. So, anyway, I hope that this has kind of turned this frown upside down. I hope we have something fun to look forward to with a fun giveaway. And I hope y'all have a magnificent rest of your day and week. All right, until next time. Bye now.